So let's go over this example six first. So example six, it's, uh, this covers actually the first two questions I mentioned. One is to estimate the time T to reach 50% degree of consolidation. And second is to estimate consolidation settlement at a particular time. In this case, after 40 days, the sandy field is put on top. Okay. So for this example, we are given uh, this sandy field, uh, 10 feet of sandy field on top, and then we're given consolidation test data. Okay. Uh, so let's look at these two questions here. So first, estimate small t. So the first question asks for the time to reach 50% degree of consolidation. So basically that's the uh, small t. So we're given capital U and we're going to ask a small t here. Okay. So this is capital U we're going to take that route TV and T. Okay. So we're going to take this route here. So from capital U estimate TV and estimate small t. So for U of 50%. And then we're going to look at table 11.7. So let's look at this table 11.7. Uh, we're going to look for first a U of 50%. So this is U of 50% and the corresponding time factor, again, this is from Tarsagi's solution. Point 0.197. So again, that's from this uh, table 11.7. So U of 50% corresponds to TV of 0.197. So that's what, what we read from Tasaki's solution. And we're also given uh, CV, uh, this is uh, one feet square per day. Okay. And the only thing left in that calculation is that HDR value. For this example, we have sandy fuel on top, so that's permeable. At the bottom of this clay layer is an impermeable bedrock. So that's an impermeable layer at the bottom. So this is a one-way drainage case. So again, water can only uh, flows out, can only flow out from the top. So it's a one-way drainage. So HDR is 20 feet. It's the basically the thickness of this entire consolidating layer. Okay. Again, one way drainage, HDR is the uh, entire consolidating layer thickness. So then we can calculate small t. and substituting all these values. So 0.197, HDR is 20 over CV is one. So since you're plugging in uh, HDR in terms of feet and CV in terms of feet square per day, you're gonna get uh, days. So this is 78.8 days. So that's the time it takes to reach 50% degree consolidation, 78.8 days after the sandy field is put on top. Uh, so again, use consistent units here. So when plugging these numbers, HDR or CV, make sure they're in consistent units. If you're using feet and feet square per day, uh, you'll get days. 
So that's part one, given small t, uh, a given u estimate small t. And then for part two here, part two, we're going to estimate SCT after 40 days. So part two of this problem asks for the uh, consolidation settlement after uh, 40 days after the sandy field is placed on top. So that's given this is small t and find SC. So we're given small t. And the path we're going to take is first calculate that TV time factor. From time factor, we can calculate where we can obtain that capital U. And from which we're going to get SCT. So for this example, uh, T is 20 is 40 days. And CV and HDR again is one and 20. So we know these two values. We can calculate time factor. In substituting these numbers, CV is one. And small t here is 40 days. We're estimating U at 40 days. And HDR is 20, so it's 20 square. So the time factor for part two, this is 0.1. Okay, so we have this time factor T sub V. So once you have time factor, again, table 11.7. Okay. So let's look at that table. Okay. Oh, this time we start from TV. So we know TV is 0.1. So it's about here. Okay. Okay. Um, so it's 0 0.102 in this table. Uh, that's fairly close to 0 0.1. So we're going to take this value. Uh, if you want to be really accurate, you can do in linear interpretation between these two values, but you're going to get very, very close uh, view. So this is fairly close. So we're going to take this value here. So U is 36%. Again, if you want to do in linear interpolation, that's okay. But that value is going to be very, very close to 36%. Okay. So U is 36%. So we have this uh, average degree consolidation. And then for that um, settlement at 40 days, okay. so to get So to get this value, we need that final segment. So we need SC final. And SC final, this basically comes from consolidation calculation. That's what we have been discussing in uh, part one of this chapter. Okay. So the, the entire part one of chapter 11 focuses on this SC calculation, SC final calculation. And remember to get SC final, we need the initial effective stress at the middle of the clay layer. So it's 10 feet of saturated clay. And the final effective stress, again, this is at the middle of the clay layer. So I'm going over this uh, relatively fast because we have been uh, covering this in part one for quite a while. So hopefully you're uh, comfortable with this calculation. So final effective stress is initial plus the change due to added sandy field on top. So it's 376 plus 10 feet of sandy field. And that's 1576 PSF. And pre-consolidation pressure Sigma C prime 376, that's given. And so sigma naught prime equals to sigma C prime. So it's NC clay.
in our lecture notes, we call this case one, NC clip. So we're going to use the compression index C sub C to do the final settlement calculation, okay, C sub C 0.5. So therefore, SC final. So this final effect or final consolidation settlement is H over one plus E naught, which is 1.2. Initial void ratio 1.2 thickness of the consolidating layer, that's 20. Okay. And then C sub C is 0.5. And log 10 of sigma final over sigma naught. 1576, 376. So we have this final consolidation settlement and then that SC T at 40 days okay, is basically the average degree consolidation U times SC final. This comes again directly from the definition of U. That's uh, how average degree consolidation is defined. Okay, so this is 36% times 2.82. So the final answer is 1.02 feet. So that's a consolidating, or that's a consolidation settlement as C when T is 40. So at time of 40 days.